Our story begins in Zhenglong, Yin City Financial Building. Inside the office, a young man angrily confronts a bald man named Zhang Jingyan, questioning why he can't sign his name and receive a commission for a project he planned himself. Zhang Jingyan, smoking a cigarette, responds by asserting that everything the young man does belongs to the company and the company listens to him. Feeling frustrated, the young man clenches his fist, turns around, and declares that he would be an idiot to continue working in this company. He storms out of the office, collecting his things to leave. As he leaves the job, people around him try to dissuade him, reminding him that his girlfriend's paralyzed father relies on him for support. They warn him about the power that Mr. Zhang possesses and suggest that losing his job could jeopardize his girlfriend's well-being. Despite their pleas, Yang Chen looks at a photo frame of him and his girlfriend, resolves to move on, and decides to start his own online ride-hailing service while searching for something else. In the underground garage, Yang Chen walks while scrolling through his phone. He receives a message from his girlfriend, stating that they should break up because he can't provide the life she desires. She expresses her intent to pursue her dreams and cannot wait for him. Distressed by the message, Yang Chen tries to call her but finds that her number is temporarily unavailable. Feeling miserable, he takes a moment to recover and then sits inside the car, acknowledging that life goes on despite the difficulties. He starts looking for a taxi hailing order and accepts one, driving his car out of the building. Upon arriving at the pickup location, he calls the customer, who informs him that she has just applied foundation and needs an additional 20 minutes. Confused, Yang Chen questions why she ordered a taxi so early when she could have waited until she finished her makeup. The customer responds that she is almost done and asks him to wait for half an hour. She warns that if he cancels the order, she will file a complaint. Frustrated, Yang Chen hangs up the phone and cancels the order, which triggers a notification stating that he has received a complaint. While still looking at his phone, a beautiful girl suddenly appears in front of him. Surprised, Yang Chen asks who she is and what is going on. The girl reveals herself as a system and explains that she wishes to bind with him. She mentions rewards for bad reviews and the potential to gain money, property, luxury cars, skills, and more. Excited, Yang Chen eagerly agrees to the binding. After the binding, the girl informs Yang Chen that he has received a 28% stake in the All Island Hotel Group and become the second largest shareholder due to the complaint he received earlier. The system advises him to dine at the All Island Hotel immediately to sign the contract. Thrilled by the reward, Yang Chen remarks on the system's power and begins driving towards the hotel. Soon, he receives an order to pick up a passenger from his location to the All Island Hotel. When he arrives, a woman named Wang Jiayi confirms that she is the passenger. As they start driving, Wang Jiayi questions why he keeps peeking at her through the rearview mirror. Yang Chen explains that he is checking the traffic behind her, not staring at her. However, the car suddenly speeds up, frightening Wang Jiayi. Panicked, she asks him what he is doing and pleads for help. Yang Chen, amused, asks her to call him daddy if she wants him to stop. Wang Jiayi reluctantly complies, and said daddy while crying. Hearing her call him daddy, Yang Chen replied, ha ha. Good girl and stopped the car outside the All Island Hotel, saying, we've arrived at the All Island Hotel. Get off. Wang Jiayi got out of the car while crying and said, you bastard. Just you wait. I'll give you a bad review and complain now. Inside the car, a virtual screen opened up in front of Yang Chen, displaying a message, congratulations to the host for receiving another bad review. The system rewards you with ownership of Singlong Financial Building. Please go to the management office of Singlong Financial Building to receive the transfer letter. Upon seeing the reward, Yang Chen felt happy and said, it's the same building where I used to work. Now I can settle the grudge with that bastard. He then walked inside the hotel. Inside the hotel, when Wang Jiayi saw him coming in, she asked, how dare you follow me? You've got a lot of nerve, haven't you? Hearing this, Yang Chen replied, good girl, don't get ahead of yourself. Your father has long since reserved a seat here. He showed his phone to the front desk, and upon seeing the information, the staff replied, Mr. Yang, your seat is at table 8. Our staff will take you there, and handed him the equity agreement. Receiving the agreement, Yang Chen walked proudly towards the table. After a while, Wang Jiayi entered the hotel and met with a young man. Suddenly, a bald man entered with two women. One of the women, with yellow hair, said to the bald man, Brother Li, I just saw a friend. Let's go say hello. She then walked in front of Yang Chen and said, Yang Chen, you've gone too far. You and Zhou Feifei already broke up. What are you doing? Are you here to cause havoc? Yang Chen replied, I'm not that low. I have no interest in you gold digging girls. Hearing this, the woman became angry and slammed both of her hands on the table. Seeing her getting angry, the bald man asked her, Chen Sin, what's going on? 
He then turned to Yang Chen and asked, Boy, who are you? Yang Chen replied, I'm Zhou Feifei's ex-boyfriend. She just broke up with me today. When did you two hook up? You're not a male mistress, are you? Hearing this, the bald man asked Zhou Feifei if Yang Chen was right. Zhou Feifei, while crying, answered, No, I broke up with him a long time ago, but he didn't agree. I did break up with him again today, but I didn't expect him to follow me here. He's trying to bully me. Seeing her crying, the bald man hugged her and said, It's not your fault, and I'll sort him out for you here. He then stood in front of Yang Chen and said, Young man, the way you're pestering my girlfriend is too annoying. Waiter, call your manager Cheng over. I need to talk to him. Zhou Feifei, with folded hands, said to Yang Chen, Why don't you go by yourself, or you'll have to suffer later. Seeing the situation, Wang Jiayi thought to herself while smiling, This guy is such a weirdo. The situation has come to this. Let's see how you end it. Seeing her looking over there, the man in front of her asked, Does Miss Wang know that man? Wang Jiayi replied, I don't know him, but I just came in his car hailing a taxi. He almost killed me. Hearing her experience, the man stood up angrily and said that he must teach him a lesson for her. Wang Jiayi tried to stop him, but he didn't listen and came in front of Yang Chen, asking why he bullied Miss Wang. Yang Chen replied, Is there a problem? Who are you? The young man replied, My name is Zhang Long, and I'm Miss Wang's blind date. If you apologize to her and call her aunt, I'll spare you. Otherwise, you'll be thrown out of here immediately. Yang Chen asked, Who is your father? Zhang Long proudly replied, My dad is the chairman of Jianmu Investment, and he is about to invest in the All Island Hotel Group. If I ask them to throw you out, they dare not say no. Yang Chen replied, All right then, big money brother, you both show me what you're really made of. Suddenly, a man walked in and said, Mr. Li, why didn't you tell me in advance when you came over for dinner? He looked at Zhang Long and said, Isn't this Mr. Zhang? What a day! Both of you are here at the same time. What a great day for our hotel. Mr. Li replied, Today is my girlfriend's birthday, and I came here for a celebration. But my girlfriend's ex-boyfriend also came here to pester her, and we couldn't eat in peace. So, I hope manager Chang will get rid of him. Zhang Long also said, I came over for a blind date, but my date was bullied by this kid. I don't want to see him again. Manager Cheng replied, Whoever is so venomous as to offend you too, I will certainly take care of it. Both of them looked at Yang Chen and said, that's him. Seeing Yang Chen sitting there, manager Cheng felt astonished and thought, isn't this the new shareholder that the board just sent out to announce? He then called the security and pointed at both of them, saying, quickly send this Zhang and Li out of here. Don't let them in the future. They are not welcome in our hotel. Hearing this, both of them felt dumbfounded. Li said anxiously, did I hear you right? I'm your hotel's vegetable food supplier. Zhang Long asked, if you still want our family's investment? Manager Chen came beside Yang Chen and introduced, This is Mr. Yang Chen, the second largest shareholder of our All Island Hotel Group. Yang Chen praised him, saying, Manager Chen knows his stuff. Hearing this, everyone felt shocked. Wang Jiayi thought to herself, How did the second largest shareholder of All Island Hotel end up driving an online taxi? Is he a rich kid experiencing life? No wonder he speaks viciously. Looking at both of them, Yang Chen said, Li Cheng, you will no longer be needed to supply the vegetable food in the future. And Zhang Long, regarding your investment, we will not accept it either. He then ordered, throw these guys out. Zhou Feifei, looking at all this, thought to herself while crying, what was I thinking? Why did I break up with him? What should I do? Is it too late to ask for forgiveness? She kneeled in front of Yang Chen and cried, saying, I just let him hold my hand and didn't have sex with him. My body and mind still belong to you completely. Her friend suddenly said, Yang Chen, she is not a good woman. She loves vanity. Look at me, I'm still clean. Yang Chen thought to himself while looking at them, these two women are starting a bitch fight. While he was thinking, Li Cheng came in front of him and said, while flattering, Mr. Yang, I didn't know she was Mr. Yang's girlfriend before. Otherwise, even if God gave me a hundred guts, I wouldn't dare to compete with you. Hearing this, Yang Chen said angrily, Manager Cheng, why haven't you kicked them out? Manager Cheng replied, Yes, boss. And asked the security to hurry up and remove them. The security dragged them out of the hotel while they begged for mercy. Beside, Manager Cheng whispered into Yang Chen's ear, This Zhang Long is the son of the chairman of Tianmu Investments. Hearing this, Yang Chen replied, Investment? They won't get past the board as long as I'm against it. So, what are you afraid of? Upon hearing this, Manager Chen called security and instructed them to get rid of Zhang Long, blacklist his membership, and never allow him to come to our hotel again. Zhang Long, getting angry, pointed at them and said, Don't you dare touch me, Cheng Damu. 
a mere second shareholder of the All Island Hotel is not something that we at Tianmu Investment would even put in our sights. He then started leaving, saying, Miss Wang, let's go eat at another restaurant. Upon hearing this, Yang Chen thought, at this point in time, he didn't forget to call on Miss Wang. It seems that he has taken a liking to her. Then I'll steal her and see if he's still proud of himself. He stood up and asked, Miss Wang, who are you on a date with? He picked up a flower and offered it to her, saying, Look, I've got the flower ready. Why don't you sit down and have a chat? I seem to have scared you with my joke earlier. I would like to apologize properly. Hearing his offer, Wang Jiayi thought, since they are all blind dates with rich people, isn't it better to choose someone with a good personality and style? She accepted the flower and said, good, I'll give you a chance to make amends. Since you're being so sincere. Seeing this, Zhang Long got angry and asked, Wang Jiayi, do you know what you're doing? I'm in fucking feud with him because of you. Aren't you insulting me? Wang Jiayi replied, you didn't do it for me but for your own face. I didn't ask you to start a fight with Mr. Yang. You tried to come and pretend, didn't you? Zhang Long, gritting his teeth, said, okay, okay, I can't touch him, but I can beat you. If you dare to sit down and have dinner with him now, you're shaming me. So think about what will happen to you. Yang Chen came behind Wang Jiayi, rested his hand on her shoulder, and said, it's fine, making her sit down. He continued, Miss Wang can sit and eat in peace, and if a fly bothers you, I'll get rid of it. Wang Jiayi replied, thank you, while sitting. Seeing this, Zhang Long approached Wang Jiayi and tried to slap her. Suddenly, Yang Chen grabbed his arm handsomely and said, it's so uncouth to hit a woman. Manager Cheng, witnessing the scene, called security and they dragged Zhang Long out of the hotel. While being dragged, Zhang Long shouted, I will not spare you. You guys just wait. On the dining table, Yang Chen introduced himself, saying, Miss Wang, my name is Yang Chen. It is my pleasure to have dinner with you. Wang Jiayi replied, My name is Wang Jiayi. She asked, What does your family do? Yang Chen replied that his parents died unexpectedly many years ago and now he is an online driver. He then asked Wang Jiayi about her background. She replied, My hometown is in Sioux City, and I currently work in a luxury shop. Because I want to stay in this city, I came out on a blind date. Yang Chen responded, Everyone has the right to pursue a better life. It is not a shame for a woman to rely on a man. While thinking to himself, compared to Joe Feifei, she's very sincere. She is not the kind of person who only runs after money. Hearing this, Wang Jiayi replied, that's right. Come on, let's drink. After drinking for a while, she said, do you know why I was so prejudiced against you when I got into the car? I had two blind dates today, and the guy I met before was pretty nice, but he tried to kiss me while it was dark in the cinema. Yang Chen replied, I think you just didn't like him. If you had taken a fancy to him, you certainly wouldn't have refused to let him kiss you. Wang Jiayi blushed and replied, how could I possibly take a liking to him? It has nothing to do with good looks or not looking good. What kind of person kisses on the first date? Yang Chen responded, kissing has nothing to do with the first time you met. It all depends on the atmosphere and the feeling. Wang Jiayi said, I don't believe it. What kind of person kisses on their first meeting? Seeing her disbelief, Yang Chen stood up walked in front of her, raised her chin with his hand, and kissed her cherry-like lips. After the kiss, he turned around and said, enjoy your meal and put the bill on my tab. I'm going to room number 1208 to rest, and left. Still in shock, Wang Jiayi thought to herself, he just kissed me. Why didn't I resist? Did he just say the room number on purpose? Was he inviting me? After a while, inside the room, Yang Chen had just come out after a shower, wearing a towel around his waist, when someone knocked on the door. Hearing the knock, Yang Chen opened the door. Outside, Wang Jiayi, filled with excitement and desire, saw Yang Chen, and barged in and hugged him tightly, locking their lips in a passionate kiss. After a while, Yang Chen looked at her and said, You're drunk. Wang Jiayi, captivated by his bare body adorned with eight pack abs, couldn't help but reach out and touch them. Observing her actions, Yang Chen playfully embraced her and said, Don't blame me, you started it. He kicked open the door to the bedroom. Inside the room, laid her on the bed, and started kissing her, while on top of her. And this is how the first part of this manhua ends. Well, guys, if you liked this video and want a part 2, comment below with the word part 2. Also, in the future, I'll be bringing more and more exciting videos. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, hit the like button, and stay tuned until the next video.